Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where I want to talk for a second here about Hosokawa. I have a suspicion about them, and that suspicion is as follows. They just increased their total number of soldiers extremely dramatically, right? They were at like 80k before, they've expanded dramatically. Their Miltech 19 compared to our Miltech of also 19. So that's the same Miltech. However, I don't think that they can sustain this number of troops. Now, to be clear, I don't think that this is exactly the time to attack. We might want to attack once we get our next admin, or rather our next Miltech. Maybe we'll keep an eye on that. But the reason why I say that, if we go into the military tab and we go to Hosokawa, probably would have been faster to, uh, well, maybe not. They're right here. So we can see that their force limit is actually 61. So yeah, they are really over their force limit. Now, to be clear, they can still fight us, they outnumber us, and they have a similar miltech to us, as in they have the same miltech as us. So we're not going to attack them just yet. I'd really love to attack Usugi if Korea would be into it. I really, really would. Korea's not into it. Yes, of course, our merc company is going to reset here. Our private enterprise just declared war on Pultico, citing conquest. That's these guys. Okay, sure. We're not actually called into that. So I'm fine with this. Accommodation with the natives. Yes, that's okay. I really do want to attack these guys. Okay, they have actually dropped their number of soldiers. Interesting. So that's not enough. I wonder why they added soldiers and then removed them, though. That's very strange. And their ship numbers are up there as well. The question is, would we be able to control this straight? Let's take a look at what their naval status would be. So let's see here. Hosokawa. There we go. So they've got nine heavy ships, 20 light ships, 17 galleys, and 40 transports. So they would be able to control this straight. So attacking Hosokawa is relatively out of, the, out of the question right now. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we offer to help these guys? Like, they didn't call us in. Are they just going to lose their war? They shouldn't. They're Miltech 19. They can win that. Oh, we just got a free stability. That's nice. But they're not moving. Ah. Because Portugal doesn't give military access through here. And they have one transport. Actually, they have five transports. They could make this happen. Oh, they have another four down here. Our colonial nation declared this. We can't offer to join them. Minus 45 reasons for acceptance of vassalization, huh? That's interesting. That's very interesting. They would accept an alliance. They'd call us in against our own colonial nation, which would be pretty awkward, for sure. I feel like we should be part of this, but our colonial nation is a colonial nation, and so they are, you know, weird. So we'll call that good. I mean, Hosokawa is wildly fluctuating their troop numbers, but there's not a lot we can really do about that. We can't really take advantage of it. That does, however, mean that Usugi's liberty desire is coming up. So that's relatively important. How are we doing on our naval limit? We can actually get more galleots. And so we shall. Cool. So we'll get five of those. And we did lose our master recruiter. So we should probably go for... Morale of armies plus 10% is pretty good if we're going to fight. Are we going to fight? That's a question, for sure. So we definitely want to grab killing grounds here. That gives us swivel cannon. And we can grab that. How are we doing on our land force limit? Okay. So we can increase our land force limit if we really want to. Yeah, this is just... 
a big problem for us that Korea isn't willing to help. <laughs> there are six favors right now. We can wait for that to come up, but that's not going to actually change much of anything. Oh, this is declaring on Korea. What am I talking about? Okay, there we go. I was like, why is Korea not showing up in the list? But no, they're, they're here. Okay, so yeah, there's a distant war and there's trust. So Korea, what are they angry about? Just Oirat. And we can't declare on Oirat because they're a tributary of Ming. Korea will never declare on Oirat because accepting would destabilize Korea. So they are a purely defensive ally and we need to accept that. The question becomes, what can we do to equal Hosokawa's strength? That is a good question. Now, we are ahead of time in Miltech. So at this point, our military power is going to be going into quantity ideas. So that is good. And we're reasonably caught up at this point in Diptech. So we should, after we get this Diptech 19, well, actually, after we can, we should swap over here. Because that's going to be another nine years away. So we should definitely do that. I really do want to get more uh, military ideas here. That is very important to us. But we're nearly caught up in tech, and that is a huge, huge deal. I would like to potentially get some economic upgrades, but really, at this point, regimental camps is what we need. Lose the stability or lose 74 ducks? We'll lose the ducks, but I'm not happy about it. We'll lose the prestige, but I'm not happy about it. So that was two bad events at, like, exactly the same time. So looking up over here, hey, they finally moved. Oh, these guys must have negotiated access through Portugal. I'm guessing. That must be what happened. I mean, they can definitely win that, so hopefully they actually do. It would be awkward if they did not. New organization, huh? 50% cheaper from a skill 2 army organizer. Do we want to employ that guy? 3.41 monthly. Yes, we employ this guy. Fantastic. So that's really solid. We could even potentially pay to upgrade him, but we can't afford to right now. So that's not something that we're going to do at the at this exact moment. But that is going to get us additional military power. So that's good. I would love to get my hands on all the military power we can right now. We converted Albazin, and that's fine. We're going to continue to bring up our religious unity, which is going to be important as well. Indeed. So that's all completely fine. Hosokawa is still at Admintech, or rather, Miltech 19. They've rivaled Korea. Korea did not rival them back. Oirat is no longer a valid rival for us. Portugal would be. Hmm. Well, Portugal's unlikely to want to attack Korea. So I think that's reasonably safe to do. As long as Korea is happy with this, tr with this alliance, which they seem to be. Ooh, 60 ducats for two base manpower. Honestly, that is so worth. That is really worthwhile. We'll happily take that. Does that change our land force limit? It does. Actually, 41. That's quite a lot. Fascinating. So our current combat width is 34. We absolutely need to get two additional units of infantry in here. And then the rest would go into cannon. We don't have the cash to build that yet. But for the moment, that's okay. Now, if we could fight Hosokawa's forces separately, we could theoretically beat them. It's an option. I'm not sure how good of an option it is, but it is an option. We can keep taking ducats from Korea. If they're not going to be able to be called into to war, we may as well take cash from them. So, that's also an option. Just checking in here. We can actually get an additional Galliot, and we'll get that done. We're making about two and a half ducats per month. Let's see. We see that they have a 23k stack here and a 44 stack here. Is that their whole army? No, that's not. This is about half of their army. 
this is about a quarter. So there's another 20k stack here somewhere. Probably up over here if I had to guess. If we were to attack Hosokawa... Usugi would, of course, join. But I'm wondering... Hmm. I'm wondering what their liberty d desire actually is. Like, we know... Well, we know what it is. It's 79.2. So, Usugi isn't really going to help Hosokawa. They'll just stick around and defend their own territory. Unfortunately, Usugi isn't the threat here. That's for sure. So, if we were to work on enforced service, that would reduce our regiment costs, our land maintenance modifier, national supply limit modifier. Like, we have a long way to go in quantity ideas before we fill out our land force limit modifier boost. And this is what we really need at this point, is a land force limit modifier boost. Once we have that... Portugal is no longer a valid rival. Yeah, fair enough. Once we have that, I would not be surprised if we were able to take Hosokawa. Ottomans are no longer the military hegemon. That's nice. And when can we swap over here? 1664. So yeah, that's still like six years away. Quite a long time there. Of course, our balance is going to be negative once we swap that around. That said, a base tax in Orach... We'll take that. And that's up over here. Okay. So, Korea, do you want to pay for another temple for us? Well, we don't quite have the favors yet. We should have it very soon. Yeah, 9.75. 9.85. So, two more month ticks. And that'll be fine. Getting the base tax is a big deal. So, there's 9.95. We do have... A subject royal faction, or a subject uh, rebel faction, rather, out here. That's going to be maybe a little bit awkward. We'll see how that ends up going in a moment. But we're going to trade favors for ducats. We're going to hit 249 ducats. And that will allow us to come on in over here and build that temple. Cool. We can also grab Diptech 19, which allows us to get frigates and increase our colonial range. Sure. It's not a huge deal, but it's fine. And cathedrals are going to be unlocked very shortly as well. Okay, so cathedrals might actually end up being valuable for us to build. However, what is more valuable right now is actually going to our land force limit. So we're going to get two can in there. And there's that revolt up here. It looks like they've got that under control, I hope. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But we'll grab Admin Tech 19 here. And now the question is, if we were to build great temples, it costs 308 to build. But yeah, there's a number of these that are pretty solid. Actually, these ones would only cost 205. Yeah, they've got that taken care of. Fantastic. How is this war going? <laughs> Mediocrely. Okay. Hosokawa, what are you doing? 92k. Now their first limit is 122. Okay, sure. Well, that's exciting stuff. Absolutely exciting. Well, we are going to be grabbing ourselves a quantity tech here, or an idea rather, pretty soon. But I really, really do want to attack these guys. Unfortunately, they're at 24 prestige. They're apparently wildly fluctuating in their force limit. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but sure. I guess that's fine. 65 support for manufactories. Done. That sounds good to me. So how are we doing on provincial unrest? Actually, uh, we've got one location where it's a little bit bad. Hingen. Where is this? Up over here. Why is it bad here? Well, it's because we're converting. This will be done fairly soon. Yeah, 7 November of 1650, or rather 1660. So that'll be done fairly soon there. We could lose 8 prestige or lose the stability. Oof. We'll lose the prestige, but again, I'm not happy about it. 
We're going to have our colony finishing up over here very soon. They need to come up here and just fight. Like, eliminate their armies and have this force do the, do the cap back. Come on, guys. Get that handled. Okay. Our colony here is now self-sustaining, so we are going to send another colonist. Actually, they can spread on their own at this point. Should we come down, like, over here? Let's do it. Okay, so there's a base tax. Fantastic. We also have a government reform available. And what do we want to go for here? Manpower recovers, recovery speed, morale of armies, and morale of armies is what we're going for. Cool. Okay, so we're now making 4.4 ducats per month. And of course, this is not with our army maintenance maxed. 92k. 46k, but these guys don't really matter that much. They're Miltech 17. Like, I don't really care too much about that. So we have this guy now, which actually is pretty good for our power. What's he going to get for personality? Advisor costs. That's actually pretty good. We are paying quite a bit for advisors right now. So that will drop our advisor costs by 20%. Okay, sure. Sounds good. We're gaining eight military power per month right now, and we now can grab enforced service. So we'll go ahead and do that. We need to finish out this tree. That does give us provincial trade power modifier. Okay, that does boost our income a bit. Yearly prestige, attrition for enemies, tolerance of the true faith, and infantry combat ability. That's quite good there. So we're going to get this land maintenance modifier next. We are still ahead of time, correct? But, but by how much? Only one year ahead of time now. So we should go for Miltech 21 next. Okay. One base manpower for a training field in our capital. Honestly, I think that that's the way to go. So in our capital, we would put in a training field, which is... That one. 307 gold. Okay, I expected it to be the level 1. <laughs> That's not the end of the world, but it's fine. We're not going to be able to get additional ducats from Korea for a while, so we'll just have to save up for that. That's okay. Hosokawa is still Miltech 19. That's a good sign. We are, of course, working on Miltech 21 now. That will become necessary. Because we will no longer be ahead of time. So we're going to have that when? Like eight years? Yeah, it, it's not great. We're going to be caught up in dip tech very soon. And that's, of course, because we're focusing dip tech right now. I do want to swap back to focusing mil tech just as soon as we can. But for the time being, that is not an option. We are going to need this training field here as soon as we can. We have a regimental camp, a workshop, and a temple there right now. So that's completely fine. I just keep watching down here because we're looking for an opportunity. Sugi's Miltech 17. If we could fight them without Hosokawa, then it would just be free. 31 ducats. We will actually take that. And we managed to convert. Fantastic. And we'll continue to convert. Okay. Hosokawa. Just give us an opportunity. That's all we're trying to do. Hmm. We can't support their rebels. Not yet, anyway. Our innovativeness is going down. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. They're improving Ming's opinion of them. Interesting. Interesting. Korea's really just chilling. <laughs> That's all they're doing. They are purely inward. And for the time being, it's okay. It's it's not ideal. That's for sure. It's not ideal. Global tariffs plus 20%. That's pretty solid. And I believe that we now have enough to build those training fields. So we should go ahead and do that. There we go. Cool. We're going to have that dip tech in... 
about a year. Okay. So our dip tech will be ahead of our admin tech at that point. I'm not too concerned about admin tech at the moment, although it's good to have. There's no doubt about that. I do want to check in on our estates here. Yeah, we can definitely seize Crownland. We are now 99% Crownland. <laughs> can we seize another Crownland? Like, what happens if we get to 100% Crownland? I've never actually done that. I guess we'll find out. That'll be interesting. They are still fighting this war. They are fighting this war badly. Let me put it that way. <laughs> if they had called us in, we would have finished that a long time ago. That's for sure. But man, with Hosokawa just chilling as well, that makes things complicated. Usugi is at 79.3%. We're going to get tax bonuses here. That's fine. Wait a second. Usugi's at minus 52 prestige. Hosokawa is the one that matters, though. I need to keep that in mind. It doesn't matter what Usugi's at. They're two mil techs behind and have comparable troop numbers to us. We would absolutely crush Usugi. Hosokawa is what matters. They have almost the same miltech as us. It's comparable. We have slightly higher miltech. But more importantly, they outnumber us about two to one. If we had another miltech on them, or if we had better numbers, I mean, we could just exceed our force limit. That would cost us a lot of money. But it is an option. I really do want to take over Japan. That is a very important thing to, for us right now. Okay, of course Ming would come in on that. I just really wish Korea would be into this. Unfortunately, they're not. Okay, there's that base manpower. Fantastic. Did that give us additional force limit? No, it didn't. Okay, just checking. Oh, hello, what is this? Korea actually declared something. Well, actually, no. Oirat declared on Korea. I mean, we accept this. Korea is Miltech 21 with 150,000 troops. Oirat is Miltech 21 with 214,000 troops. Okay, so we need to get transported over. Oirat has no navy, so we are relatively safe here. We're going to start transporting over. And we're going to let Korea have a nice time fighting Oirat for a little bit here. We're going to grab Diptek here. But this actually gives us the opportunity to potentially get some land up here. Which is very useful for us, shall we say. So, for the time being, we're going to allow Korea to do what they're going to do. But, I want to go in here. And, let's see here. How do I do this? I forget how I do this. I want to do this, and we want to set provinces of interest. So if we do this, in theory, Korea might flip some of these over to, the, to us in the peace deal. Maybe. <laughs> so we want, like, everything that Korea is willing to give us. Something along the lines of this. Korea wants this stuff. Fair enough. Okay. So we're going to transport our way over. We don't need to worry about contesting the seas. That's just fine. If Korea doesn't want it, but we do want it, in theory, Korea will flip it to us. In theory. That's occupied by Oirat, obviously. It'll take us time to transport our army over. Hmm. 10 prestige for a stability or go into debt? I mean, we're already losing cash right now. We're going to take the prestige. I don't like losing a stability right now, but it'll have to do. Ah, the Ainu Karapi treasure fleet arrived. Cool. So they brought some gold. Nice of them to send a treasure fleet. Yeah, look at this. 
Korea flipped this over to us. So that's great. Now, Oirad is attacking us, not Korea. We're going to let that happen for the moment. Keep in mind, Oirad declared on, uh, on Korea, not on us. So that's okay. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I guess we're going to fight Oirat. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I really do need to think about how I want to do the uh, segue over into the membership screen. By the way, I'm working on redoing the backdrop here because this is upscaled from 1080. But that's something that will happen soon enough. Thank you to all the channel members for supporting this video. We still don't have any council members, but Spartan News is a peer of the realm. And as well, we thank everyone else, which is still just the one. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I'm going to have to come up with something to uh, fill this space as well if there gets to be more of those. But And of course, I thank you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time. Apparently I took a screenshot instead of ending the recording. <laughs> oh, this is great.